CataractCoach.com. Safely manage a shallow capsule bag. Now, here's how I knew it would be shallow, and here's what I did to succeed. This is me operating. Let's cut through it, and let's start with this case here. Here we go. Put in the viscoelastic. It all looks pretty normal, right? Good dilation. Not too dense of a cataract. And now we'll start with the main incision. But I knew we were going to have some challenges because, let me show you, when I do the rexus, you know what? Mm, there's some wrinkling or laxity of zion support. So as I do the Rex, I poke into the lens capsule these forceps. And normally, if the lens capsule is nice and taut as it should be, or tight, let's say, well supported, when I poke in, it should be easy. But look, oh, see those wrinkles? That sign, that little sign right there of all those radial wrinkles, I know that's going to be an issue. I just know. Because that tells me there's overall zonal laxity. Now, we spent the video up here to get through it very quickly. I got a good rex is done. This part's going to be pretty routine. I'll get the lens here. Let's see. We're going to chop it maybe. Leave it in the bag. Okay, leave it in the bag. That, you thought I was going to pop. You thought I was going to do flip and chop, didn't you? Nah, don't worry about it. Here, buzz in here. Boom, chop in half. Spread the pieces. All right, let me go to the end here. Now, get the last bit of cataract out of the bag. There you go. And it looks pretty reasonable. But watch carefully. Look, 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 look. As I get the last piece out, the posterior capsule, look at that. Boom, touches my chopper. The posterior capsule comes forward. The bag is so shallow that the posterior capsule comes up to the backside of my chopper there. Why? Well, loose the zonal support means zonal laxity means there is fluid flow, BSS going through the gappy zonal support into the anterior hyaloid space right? Into burger space in front of the antihaloid face. And what are you going to do now? Well, that's going to shallow the bag out. So the bag right now is a little shallow. Now, this is not a 3D video, but you can certainly tell. I'll be able to get the cortex out, but again, the bag is a little shallow. And we've all had those cases where you're doing the cataract surgery and you go in there and you're like, gosh, the bag seems kind of shallow. I wish the bag was deeper. You could increase the infusion pressure right now, so increase your IOP, or if you're using an older machine, increase your bottle height right now to increase that infusion pressure. And that may get you a little bit deeper anterior chamber and deeper bag. But again, the question is, how are you going to resolve this issue? So again, I'll get all the cortex out pretty easily. But look behind the poster capsule. What do you see? Lens bits, tiny lens material. in. Look at that. Lens material in front of the anterior face. How to get there? Of course, the loose or gap beads on your support. So let's put the viscoelastic in. Here's the cohesive. Put it in, get a good, good, good deep fill, and give it some time. That can push out some of the fluid there. Now, in the meantime, while we're waiting, let me tell you about Retin Rounds, our sister channel, so much great material. I keep telling you about it, and you just keep resisting because you're afraid of learning. You're afraid of knowledge. You're afraid you'll become a better ophthalmologist. Don't be afraid. Now, here we go. The bag is nice and deep. I polished up the anterior surface of the uh, capsular rim there, and now delivering him the eye well, here it goes. And again, you can see, look, the bag's pretty shallow. So this is a case that when I did this case, like, ooh, it struck me like the bag is kind of shallow here. I better be careful. So we'll get that capsular bag in, you know, is opened up enough. We'll get the lens in there. You can see it's a good rexus. It's covered in the edge of the optic 360. It looks like a, a monofocal, looks like a toric lens. Let's go behind it, remove viscoelastic. And then we'll finish up this case here. Again, pretty routine case here. Now we're back at normal one-time speed and get that lens in good position. We can rotate it a little bit if you need to. But again, pretty common to have this. Now, if you still have a lot of aqueous or BSS, let's say, in the in burger space, in front of the anterior face in the post-op period, initially in the post-op period, remember, the lens op optic may sit more anterior. And what does that mean? It may be a little bit of a myopic shift on post-op day one, but it's okay. Give it time. See the patient back in about a week or so, and you'll be surprised. All that will equilibrate the fluid, and the patient will be at the refractive target that you plan for. At the end of the case, you're sealing up those main incision here. There it is. All looks pretty good. Let's get that lens a little bit better position, hopefully, and again, we'll call it a day. So remember, now here's how to deal with it. Now you know how to deal with a shallow capsule bag because I promise you, if you're doing at least a few hundred cataracts a year, you're going to see it this year. And when you see it, you say, hey, cataract coach taught me how to fix that. And to be thankful, I'm going to subscribe to retinarounds.com. Also, check it out. I promise you're going to love it. I'm going to keep telling you every single video.